Good morning and welcome to Arts and Culture with John Erriston. I'm John Erriston and I'm going to take you on a carnivorous journey through the culturous world of art. Let's go. Now, just behind me here is Malcolm Richard Cucumber and his two daughters, Mary and Centipede. Now, it was actually Mary and Centipede that suggested that he built an art museum to amalgamate all of his pieces of work, his art, his sculptures, his fucking memories. So let's venture inside and see what awaits on the journey that is before us today. Just to give you an example of how vast the venticity is of this museum, this was built in 46 BQ, back when Clauderson was head of the kingdom. Let's go. Now, this particular hallway here is very, very important to the art gallery. This was home to multiple artists back in 18 QF, before the glory wars, but after the glory days. Now, this is Barry Collins. This man was responsible for the Great War of Thunderpie. Back in 16 QD, he invented the pencil for the sole purpose of signing the non-treaty of Elderbeam. This battle armour was once worn by Arthur Mackenzie, home to Clan Mac. He invented this armour using specific kitchen utensils that his mother-in-law left him in the cold days. Now, if eyes had walls, and walls had eyes, the stories that these walls would shed are so vast that I can't comprehend the sheer venticity of it all. My head is ready to explode. Now, back in 17 AW, all the artists from around Glasgow would amalgamate for one night only and paint vaginas using neon vibrancy and centigrade altitudes. This here is Sir Russell Crowe. Now, many of you may know Russell Crowe as a extremely bad Hollywood actor. But this here symbolises what he did for the war back in 14 QZ, where he led an army of digestive biscuits into a swarm of milk chocolate. And he lived to tell the tale. Now, just behind me here marks the cast of face. Arthur Fishing Tale sculpted his own head using clay because he wanted the world to understand just how colossal his heap was. This here is Alison Cabbage Passage. Now, she was famous back in 17 QC. She designed clothing for men as well as female, including great furs, and opiate shoe wear.
wasn't carefully. That is the sound of pure angel breed. Eki Virgo concept today. No one quite knows how to pronounce it. But should someone pronounce it correctly, it will open the gateway to heaven. This is my favourite piece of art in the entire museum gallery. This is Tony Shepherd looking out his house one day, waiting for a delivery. A delivery that he'll never, ever get. This monument that stands afore me commemorates the Battle of Aldo's Glade. Now, back in the 16th century tentary, Aldo's Glade was a crystallised substance used for almost everything, including health, wages, and of course, fashion. Now, in 16 QB, Aldo's Glade became obsolete. Many fake combinations were made. However, someone discovered that a brand new source of Aldo's Glade was available. And that started the Great War of Aldo's Glade. This battle lasted a vast 45 minutes. Many people died with extreme exhalation and lack of drinking cola. Now, for me to say that we have seen all of the museum is just an absolute bullshit lie. We have merely scratched the surface of the cultural understanding of this beautiful building. So join me next time when we'll be talking about fuck all.